I am Alex. I am a regional artist from Toowoomba and today we're going to be going to our backyard to find some objects that we can turn into a pattern drawing. For this activity today you will need some paper, a pencil and a rubber. If you like you can also use a black pen for outlines. You can colour it in with any sort of colours that you have around the house. I went for a walk in my backyard and I discovered things like leaves, some different shaped rocks, some bark and some sticks. When drawing objects, I always like to start with the center point. So all I'm doing here is drawing the middle line or the stem of the leaf. And now I'm going to draw a really rough outline of what the shape looks like. Then I start to piece together all the bits of detail. So I'm looking at where it bends, does it have any rips in it, are there different lines on the leaves, and then I'm adding that to my drawing. I then do that with all the other objects. Am I going to just draw an outline? Am I going to draw more detail when it comes to drawing my rocks? With my bark and sticks, am I going to add all the little individual lines that they actually have on them? Or am I going to block them out into different colourful areas? Now that my piece of paper is starting to look really full with all the different objects that I've found from my backyard, I'm now filling it in and starting to overlay some of the shapes. I'm also playing with scale a little bit here. So some objects are bigger than what they are in real life and some are smaller. It just creates a little bit of interest with our artworks. If you like, you can turn your piece of paper around so everything's going in a different direction or it can all be going the same way. It's your artwork and you can choose what it looks like. When drawing objects right in front of me, I really like to look at the individual details. Once you've finished drawing your artwork with your pencil, you can choose to outline it with a black pen. If you don't have a black pen, you could use a felt marker or a biro or even a black pencil. I'm just going over all the little lines that I drew just so that they stand out on the page now. Once the ink from my pen has dried, I then use my rubber to remove any of the pencil marks that I don't want on my artwork. We're now going to use pattern in our artwork to create some interesting points. I've decided to use a mix of large circles, tiny dots, some lines, and then I've also gone through and created some bigger block shapes in the background as well. Now that you've finished your drawing with your black and white, you can either choose to leave it as is, or you can get your colors out and color it in. When picking your colors, are you going to choose to color them in the same way that they are in real life? Or are you going to mix it up and use colors from your imagination and make a bold, bright picture? So you can color it in with block colors, or if you like, you can add a bit of shading to it. And that's where you color in the dark areas, your shadows, and leave your highlights really bright. You can also use pattern with the pens as well. And we're finished our beautiful artwork inspired from objects that we found in our backyards. If you've enjoyed this activity, I run regular online art workshops. If you'd like to find out more, follow the links on the screen. Also, don't forget to take a photo of your artwork and share it with us with the hashtag homeprojecttr. We'd absolutely love to see what you've been creating.